when you're doing a PhD, you're spending three years working very, very hard on a very, very narrow problem and you can almost be confined by your lab or your colleagues who work in the same field and you almost forget what the real world is like. And this competition gives you an opportunity to step outside that bubble and communicate what you're doing uh, to a much wider audience. It's a wonderful event, they win marvellous prizes, but most important of all, uh, they learn how to get their ideas across in plain English. Max was an absolutely brilliant communicator as well as a brilliant scientist who won the Nobel Prize uh, in the early 60s for his work on X-ray crystallography and solving the structure of really important molecules like immunoglobulins. So uh, Max is the ideal person in the MRC family after whom this award should be uh, should be named. The standard of this year's entries I thought was really high, I was impressed. I was, from having read the entries from the previous years, I thought that they would be quite good, but I was really pleased uh, how easy they were to sit down and read. The hardest thing about writing the essay, I think, was the transition from uh, scientific writing to non-scientific writing, so we're very used to writing in jargon and long unnecessary words. It was trying to condense that into something that would get my point across, be interesting, but still keep a lot of the information there. You, you kind of can get bogged down in the minutiae of your day-to-day -day PhD research, but in, in being able to translate it to something that is useful, you need to be able to communicate what you're doing in, in um, terms that can be understood by a, a larger audience. I actually enjoyed most today coming and doing the master class and talking to the other uh, shortlisted entrants and getting some advice and help in improving my writing skills. I mean, it's made me certainly think about how I explain things to members of the public, and particularly the patients that are involved and are trying to get into the study. Um, it's made me focus on sort of trying to engage um, with the public and think about really what's relevant um, to them and in terms of trying to encourage them to be interested in it and take part because I am. <laughs> Summarising but also simplifying a concept but within 800 words is incredibly hard because to, it, it takes more words to simplify something so people can understand it easier and it's really hard to write errors but it's also really refreshing to have that challenge. You're so involved in the experiments and the details of the experiments that the concept of the bigger picture and the context of it is completely lost. So to then try and tell a story about your project, which ties in the background and the context and everything else, is actually very useful. And to use your brain in a kind of creative way rather than an analytical way is, is a real break and a breath of fresh air. Well over a hundred MRC funded PhD students submitted an 800 word essay in which they spectacularly achieved the task of getting their science across in words of one syllable. Writing about statistics, I wasn't expecting even to get shortlisted because it's a very difficult subject to get across in an interesting way. So managing to even become sort of get shortlisted, let alone becoming runner up is quite thrilling really. It might make you realise again just how important what you're doing is, that actually it does matter to society as a whole. Our star for the evening and hopefully uh, someone who will follow in Nicholas's shoes and be a judge next year uh, is from Dundee and it's Amy Capes. Um, I was really surprised and pleased to, to win the competition because I thought there was uh, a lot of the really good essays that I really wasn't expecting it.